Yeah, hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be um, telling you guys the necessary documents that you need to gather for your visa application. So if you are planning to study in Poland in year 2024, it is not too early to start making all this preparation, especially with the proof of fund that you need like a six month bank statement. So let's just get started in today's video. Yeah, so this video is particularly for Nigerians. I'm sorry, I'm a Nigerian and these are the documents that I presented. These are the documents that I made use of when I was preparing or when I was submitting my um, visa application. So if you are from another country, please check the um, websites of the embassy in your country to be sure of the requirements yeah there are some requirements that like they are so 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 similar i think most of the requirements actually they are similar but when it comes to the proof of fund ish yeah that part is is a bit different from country to country so i have everything in my diary and that is where i'm going to be reading from <laughs> Yeah, so the first thing in no particular order, you need your visa application form. So when you are filling your form online, yeah, there are two forms that you are going to fill. The first form you are going to fill, when you go to the embassy website, you choose your country, you are going to fill a form. Then you are going to fill another form when you want to book your appointment for your interview. So the second form that has the date of your interview that is the form that you are going to submit not the first one you also need a colored passport photograph which has to be 3.5 by 4.5 centimeters so make sure you follow this requirement just go to a professional photographer to do this for you please and you are presenting just two copies of this and then you need your international passport which is not close to getting expired you know you still have like enough pages i've forgotten the requirement but if i if i'm able to get it i'll just put it in the description box or just put it on the screen and also you need your flight reservation i think okay flight you need your flight reservation your travel medical insurance and then your proof of funds so these three i think i'm going to i'm going to explain it at um towards the end of the video so you need um another document that is going to prove that you are a citizen of your country for nigeria um your nin slip is okay i believe everyone by now should have an nin slip another document that you need is um proof of accommodation so when you are presenting your document some people are being denied because they don't have um, any proof of accommodation in Poland. I mean, that is insane. So it is very important for you to present a proof of accommodation. For my own school, when they sent out the um, admission documents, there was a document also that you know certified that you have an accommodation reserved. So for my own school, like I, I don't have to face that problem. But I don't know if that is how all the schools in Poland does, but in case your school does not send you a proof of accommodation, that means you have to look for an accommodation outside. There are people that do all these things. I don't know about it, but just know that proof of accommodation is very, very important. It is very important. They want to see that you have somewhere that you are going to stay when you get into Poland. If your school gives out this um, document, please make use of the document that your school is giving you. Even if you don't want to stay in the school or dormitory, make use of this document for the purpose of your visa application so that you don't get denied. Another document that you need is your acceptance letter from school. So any document that your school sends to you, please make sure you keep all these documents. They are very, very important. The ones they will send to you in English language and in Polish language, keep everything, print it out. If they are sending the soft documents to you, if they are sending the soft copy to you, print everything out in a colored format. And if your school is sending you the hard copy also, you are going to need all of these documents. Your receipt of payment. So when you were 
applying to school you are going to pay an application fee make sure you keep the receipt of that application fee even if somebody else is paying for you make sure you keep the receipt and the receipt of your first semester tuition fee also it is very very important that you keep all of this receipt you need your bsc certificate you need your bsc certificate you need your transcript i made a video on how to authenticate your bsc certificate and your transcript please go ahead watch the video i don't have to explain all those things here again you also need um okay for some schools i don't know if you need an eligibility letter when you watch the video about authentication the you know how to get the eligibility letter is also explained in the video so just watch the video if your school needs eligibility letter get it and if they don't need it you're fine you also need your cv in euro pass format not just any kind of cv make sure it is in euro pass just go to euro pass website check on google euro pass cv it will take you to their website create an account and prepare your cv it is for free they will not collect any money from it. it's for free just put in all your details so if you have a cv that you use that you make use of before just you know look at that cv type in all the necessary details when you get to the website i'm sure it's something that you can figure out yourself so you also need a cover letter yes you also need a cover letter which has to be signed by you so you're writing your cover letter yourself hmm. let me put my book down because i need to explain some things here when it comes to cover letter so when you're writing your cover letter for the purpose of your visa application please don't just write anything cover letter is deeper than words <laughs> it's deeper than what you are saying and what is important in your cover letter you need to put um your previous experience your previous degree i'm, I'm just explaining in no particular order please so maybe you have to you have to also do your research on how to write cover letter for the purpose of visa interview you need to write um you know in your cover letter you just need to explain your previous degree how your previous degree relates to what you are going to study in poland in your cover letter you must also convince them that you're going back to your country i don't know how you're going to do that but you have to convince them your cover letter just has to be convincing that you are going to poland to study and at the end of your study in poland you are going back to your country to make use of the knowledge that you've gotten in your degree you know to develop either your country in case you are working um in a place before leaving for your study and then if what you want to study correlates with what you were doing at your previous industry you might want to incorporate all those things there in case you want to come back to your country to make use of that knowledge to develop that place that you are working at before you need to put all these things um what else oh my god i'm trying to think yeah i think basically that's just it and also towards the end of your cover letter you have to list out all the documents that you are presenting for your visa application so go to the website like i said go to the website again check all those documents so those those important documents that is listed because there are some documents that i probably have said or we still say that is not listed on the website but you still need to present these documents to increase your chances of getting your visa approved then you you need your visa fee visa fee is 80 euro as of 2023 it is still 80 euro and then you need your legalization fee so in order to legalize your documents the best thing as of now is just to take those documents with you the same day you are going for your visa interview so to legalize a document is 30 euro your bsc certificate and your transcript for example you are paying 60 euro for that if someone is sponsoring you you need to present the documents of the person that is sponsoring you so you need to present a means of identification you can present um either your international passport if you're in nigeria you can also present their nin as a, as a means of identification 
um, if the person is still, if the person has a business, you can present their CAC certificate. If the person is working for an organization, you might want to pre present a document that says that the person is working for this particular organization. It might be the ID card of that organization also. So you might want to present all these things. So now let's go to um, the statement of account. So for the purpose of your visa, you need to present six months statement of account. As a Nigerian, you need to present six months statement of account. So this is how the statement of account works. Someone once asked me if you have to put a particular amount of money in your bank account for a period of six months. No, that is not that is not what they mean by you know presenting six months bank statement. So what they mean is that when you are printing out the statement of account of your sponsor, if you are sponsoring yourself, if somebody else is sponsoring you, when you are printing out this statement, they want to see you know, an history of inflow and outflow of money for a period of six months. That is what they want to see. So, for example, I like, I like giving examples so that you understand what I'm trying to explain. So, for example, let's say first month, you have 2 million naira closing balance. So, let me go back a little bit. So, let's say, for example, when you, you want to present a statement of account that has 10 million naira as a closing balance you don't have to put the money at once it is going to be suspicious so what you have to do is that that is what i'm saying you have to plan ahead you have to plan ahead so you let's say your school is resuming in october and then you want to start doing all these things in july it is getting late already so you have to plan ahead so the first um the first month closing balance maybe something let's say two million naira two million is so far from 10 m right but it is something that um it is doable so let's say first month is two million naira second month closing balance i'm talking about the closing balance now the second month closing balance is let's say four million the third month closing balance increased to let's say five million the fourth month increased to 8 million the fifth month might increase to 9 million the sixth month might increase to 10 million or even more so i think you get that gist now so depending on how much you are presenting and there is no fixed amount for bank statements so you don't have to ask me like how much do i need to put in my account or how much does my sponsor as i have to present there is no fixed amount so the amount depends on what you are paying as tuition fee what you are paying for your accommodation and what your living expenses is going to be yeah there is a fixed amount for living expenses go to the website like they've given you an, an idea of what um, your monthly living expenses should be you might exceed that if you are the type that you know spent a lot of money but yeah that's just it so let's say for example you are on a fully funded scholarship and you're also getting monthly stipend your um proof of fund may not be up to 10 million naira whereas someone will be okay with 10 million naira whereas another person might have to present more than 10 million naira so it depends on what you are paying you need to present a sponsorship letter a notarized sponsorship letter in nigeria it is not the court that notarizes this document you have to go to a notary public these are the people that notarize the document and when i did mine it was just 1000 naira so it is not something that is expensive so your sponsor has to write a letter that they will be the one to sponsor um you when you get to poland you will be the one to pay for your tuition fee your living expenses and also to pay for your return tickets back to nigeria or back to your country and they need to also state in um in that letter whatever it is that they are doing so yeah i think that's it sponsorship letter is nothing difficult to write at all so and your sponsor has to sign this letter and then you will take it to a notary public your your sponsor will take it to a notary public and get it sealed uh, another thing that you need to present is 
an affidavit of relationship of your sponsor so if you are being sponsored by someone person needs to make an affidavit of relationship so the affidavit is just the person stating that they are your mother the person is your father the person is your uncle the person is your brother the person is your sister you know depending on the relationship you have with the person someone has asked me before that is it possible that your friend um sponsor you i don't know about that on the website it is written that your family member has to be your sponsor because i don't know i don't know whatever reason that is but yeah that is just it your family member has to be your sponsor so if you are using your family member as your sponsor it is very easy for you to get a document showing a proof of relationship as compared to your friend do you get it because anybody can just pick anybody on the street and just say hey, please just sponsor me for the purpose of my visa and that's just it so what they need is a family member so you have to present an affidavit of relationship of of sponsor yeah you also need to present a birth certificate you need to present a birth certificate and a birth certificate is also a document that you can use to prove the relationship you have with your sponsor so if you are using your mother or your father as your sponsor your birth certificate is another document that you can cite affidavit as cite affidavit your birth certificate is another document that you can use to prove your relationship if you are using let's say your uncle and um let's say your mom and your uncle they are from the same parent same father same mother that means you have to present your own birth certificate showing that you are your mother's child and then you also have to present the birth certificate from your uncle and from your mom i know for nigerians that is not going to be possible because i think after 19 i've forgotten the year now after a particular year you know you can't get I mean, before a particular year, I've forgotten that year, you can't um, present a birth certificate because birth certificate did not exist then. So you have to present, um, what's the statement, what's this thing called? Um, uh, a declaration of age document. Yeah, it's called declaration of age. So in case you can't get a birth certificate, that means your uncle has to present a declaration of age that I was born in so 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 year by so 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 no my mom is this my dad is this your mom will also present the same thing so when they see all these documents they know that yeah truly this person is a family member and if you are using let's say your elder brother same father same mother just present your own birth certificate and your brother's birth certificate will be fine and another thing that you need to present you need to present your sponsors id card i don't know if i've mentioned that so it's either you are presenting your sponsors nin you might also present if your sponsor is still working you might also present um the id card of the person's workplace you know the identification card that they use at their workplace yeah your sponsor is retired present a pension certificate um the government gives out pension certificate to say that this person is retired and on the pension certificate they usually state some amount of money that you know they are owing the person the person's yearly pension so you also need to present that pension document because the pension document is also a proof to show that yes this person is going to be getting some money so it is very possible that a retiree is your sponsor it is very possible they won't deny you your visa because you are using a retiree as your sponsor what they want to see is that this person is getting money so even is even good if you are using a retiree because <laughs> what do they want to use the money for anyways they don't have much you know responsibility on them as compared to someone that is still working but whichever way if you are using someone that is retired if you are using someone that is still working it is very positive looking at statistics i think the reason they deny people visa is mostly because you cannot prove to them that you are going to study in poland and that you are coming back to your country yeah it is possible to be denied because of statement of accounts don't get me wrong 
here i've not talked about flight reservation so for your flight reservation for your travel medical insurance and for your intended date of departure in your country this date must correlate so for your travel medical insurance if your intended date of departure on your visa form says november 1 then on your travel medical insurance your travel medical insurance must also start from November 1. And then your flight reservation also must start from November 1. I already made a video on flight reservation. Please watch the video because your flight reservation has to be to and fro. So it's something that you can do yourself. Don't go and pay anybody any money for flight reservation. Pick up your phone and do it yourself. Your travel medical insurance also must start on the same day that you intend to leave your country I already explained that and okay for the travel medi uh, medical insurance if you want to buy a travel medical insurance for two years it is not possible to buy it you cannot buy more than a year so if your medical insurance is starting on january 1 2023 that means it's going to end on the 31st of december 2023 that is the maximum you can get so when you get that that is one year medical insurance so for you to buy for the second year you have to start on in january 1 2024 up till december 31st 2024 or till whenever you want to get your medical insurance so that is how to get more than one year medical insurance uh, in order to prove your own ties yeah i know for visa application it is important to prove your own ties in case you don't have landed property um in case you don't have a husband or a wife in nigeria so if you are married for example if you are the husband and you are going to study you might present your marriage certificate to say that okay you are married your wife is still in nigeria and you would love to come back after your study to be with your wife that is another thing and let's say you are not married you don't have a landed property you don't have any tangible thing that you can present that we convince them that you're coming back to your country that is where your cover letter comes in so your cover letter must be convincing your cover letter must be convincing and another thing that is very important is prayer so you cannot you cannot joke with the power of prayer you cannot joke with the power of prayer because sometimes you might have done everything very well you might have done everything perfectly anything can still go wrong something can still go wrong and sometimes you might make a little mistake but with 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 god nothing is impossible so you might make a little mistake but since you've already committed all these things into god's end before going before preparing all these documents you've committed it into god's end while you are preparing it you are committing it into god's end after your interview you commit everything into god's end i tell you that yeah you are going to get that visa just put your trust in god i don't have any i don't have any original to get in um your visa approved but these are the things that i did yeah i i prayed a lot i prayed a lot concerning my visa i presented everything into god's hand and i can tell you my visa <laughs> it's a testimony and that is a story for another day yeah i hope this video helps you please if you know you have more questions in case i did not touch um a part Please just drop your question and I will appreciate if you can drop the question in the comment section so that when I answer it, somebody else might also go through the comment section and also get answers to their question. So thank you guys for the love, for the support and for everyone that has been disturbing my email and, and um, DM on Instagram. I hope I was able to answer your questions very well. So please do not forget to share this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and trust me there are a lot of videos lined up but i've been busy i've been busy with live <laughs> and yeah thank you guys so much once again bye